Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you a really cool gadget. It's called a Roybin's Smart Bluetooth Light Changing Light Bulb. Now basically all you're supposed to have to do to set this up is purchase the light bulb, obviously. Um, I bought mine on Amazon for about $28-29 bucks, and uh, download this app called Magic LED Light and uh, open up the app and it's supposed to connect as soon as you screw it in. So basically the light bulb that I took out of my regular lamp, so nothing special about the lamp, uh, is just a regular light bulb. Um, I plugged in uh, the LED bulb which is right behind the iPad right now set up and uh, let's see how easy this is to set it up. Now if you're asking why would you want one of these, well first of all they're really cool, they're a lot of fun because uh, they have smart controls so you could basically turn on and off your light from your couch or your bed. Um, there's a disco mode where lights uh, can kind of go from external sources so for example if your TV's playing music the light bulb can react in like a disco effect. Uh, also there's a lot of energy savings on this. Uh, supposedly these light bulbs last a lot longer uh, than a regular light bulb and they're definitely lower in cost as far as uh, energy savings. So there's a lot of pluses and another good thing is if you have kids the light bulbs are hot usually. LED bulbs don't have any heat to them. Uh, you can put your finger on it and you'll see it, uh, it doesn't have any heat at all. So let's see how easy this is to set it up. I did actually screw in the light bulb and uh, if we go over here this is the magic light application. I just typed in magic light and I'm going to download it which I did and now we'll open it up and we'll see if it recognizes it. And right away uh, there is the LED bulb. I'm going to click add device and it's going to give me an error message because you have to turn the power on and then off and within the first minute that you do this you have to click add device. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this off and then on. We'll wait a second for the light to come back on and then we're going to click add device. And there it goes. Now at this point I could name the device or not and I confirm. Now at this point we have uh, the light is on so if I click on this little round circle over here that should turn it off and that works perfectly so really is as easy to set up as they said turning it back on now and you could do up to 50 devices on this so that's pretty cool. Let's see some of the features it has. So right here, this is your first feature, which basically gives you a color wheel. And if you put your finger on the color wheel, as you can see, it'll change to whatever color that you want. And you could also set the brightness down here uh, to be as bright or as not bright as you want. There's a little lever at the bottom. There's also a warm light feature where you would click on this button and then adjust it over here. So this is kind of like... Uh, indoor lighting you know because it has the yellowish tinge and you do that. This is the disco one that I talked to you about and as you can see as I'm talking the um, light bulb is reacting to it. Now not only will, will it react to my talking it'll also react to music. So let me put on some music on my um, laptop and see if it impacts the light bulb based on the microphone feature on my iPad. Now that may seem a little complicated but it's not. So Let's see. You have to adjust the microphone sensitivity. There you go. So it does actually react to music. And obviously, this is a pretty slow song. If you would put on a, a higher song, a faster song, it might react differently. And of course, obviously, the louder the music, the more the microphone is sensitive to it. So that's actually a pretty cool feature. Another feature we have is uh, these different preconceived uh, color changes. So here is a red gradual change. This is uh, a green, a red green crossfade. And you could speed it up or slow, slow it down based on this little lever here. So you can really adjust it. There's a strobe effect. So that's a white strobe effect. There is also some seven color strobe effects. And again, you can slow that down or speed that up based on what you'd like. So that's an actual pretty cool little feature. There's also a custom feature here where you can jump from one color to another. Now this could be really good if you're having a party and you have some colors that you want. Let's say it's Halloween and you just want it to be orange and black and flip between orange colors. You could actually set those empty boxes for the colors that you want. You could either do a strobe effect a jump which jumps from one color to another or a gradual and then how fast that happens based on this control. So we talked a little bit about the music here 
Um, you can select music from your music library, but you can't just select any music. Um, some music will work, some won't. Uh, so probably the better feature to use here is to simply use that microphone feature because uh, then you can play your Spotify music on any device in the room, whether it be your television, your stereo, whatever, and then you'll have that disco effect, which is pretty cool. They have four settings in this uh, music area, rock, normal, jazz, and classical, and the lights do change based on what those differences are. There's also camera features as well that can read things. So getting back to the color one, um, if you're in this mode, you'll also notice that there's a timer at the top. And this allows you to time it when you want it to come on and when you want it to come off. So you could actually have a complete uh, range for the day. Like you could say, I want red light at 2 o'clock and I want it to turn it off at 3. Or you could have a slow wake-up light for yourself in the room. And if you're one of those people who really don't get up in the morning, you could actually set up the light to have a strobe effect in the morning so it kind of wakes you up. So it's pretty cool. It was as easy to set up as it said in uh, these directions, which I was quite surprised. I'm uh, using here an iPad 2. I tested it also out on an iPhone 5S. They both work. And uh, I think you should try it out. It's really worth it. And like I said, it doesn't need a hub. But keep something in mind. Because it's Bluetooth controlled, it doesn't need to be on any Wi-Fi. It automatically hooks up. You don't have to worry about connecting to your Wi-Fi network with it, which makes it a lot easier than, I think, the Wi-Fi bulb. So be careful if you do buy it. They make them Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. As well as the fact that if you kind of take this with wherever you go, let's say you were going on vacation and you wanted to bring the light bulb to be used in the room of your hotel, you could actually use it there, which is pretty cool, or take it to work and have a party and just switch a, a bulb and a lamp that's on someone's desk, which could also be really cool. It could also be a great prank. <laughs> so you could try that out too. Well, I hope you liked the video. Like it if you like it. Let me know if you purchased it and if you're uh, having a good time with it. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of Mac tips and, of course, a lot of gadget tips because I love gadgets, especially ones that work with Apple devices. Have a great weekend and uh, enjoy your New Year's. Thanks for listening.